So hello, my name is Florian Scotté. I'm a medical oncologist in France at Gustave Roussy and also the current president of MASC. It's my huge privilege uh, to uh, say you that we had a very interesting and fantastic meeting this year at Seattle, US for the uh, 2025 annual meeting. We have received uh, many delegates, uh, around uh, thousand from all over the world, 55 countries, regions of the world. Uh, we had uh, specific messages uh, during the three panel sessions. First one was about financial toxicity with huge messages uh, that uh, many people will, uh, will have debts or maybe bankruptcy. Uh, you related to uh, to cancer treatment and uh, and uh, the evolution of uh, of the disease. Uh, the second panel session uh, was about uh, uh, emerging toxicities, and uh, the main message I think that we have to keep in mind is uh, expect the unexpected. Uh, it's, it was provided by by a hope uh, hope Trudeau, and uh, we will have uh, a next uh, panel session with uh, very interesting uh, information about about supportive care. In the, in the coming days. So we had parallel sessions with lots of uh, messages uh, again. And uh, for the first time this year, we will have uh, short recordings of the different sessions that we will provide during the year to make this annual meeting uh, uh, living uh, along, the, along the year until the uh, 2026 uh, uh, meeting. So uh, I also would like to, to transfer you, to forward you a, a message about my study from uh, my institution at Gustavo C because uh, we know that uh, early supportive care is really important. Early assessment of patients with self-assessment is also important. If and if we provide uh, a supportive care journey joint to the anti-cancer treatment journey, we can uh, uh, allow improvement or no decrease of quality of life. So what we provide at Gustavo C and we have uh, presented that uh, that uh, trial. In, uh, in the, the mass meeting this year is that if we assess the patient needs at the start, at the diagnosis, and then we provide a personalized pathway to the, to the patient, uh, so we could avoid any decrease of quality of life at three months and six months after starting the treatment. It means that supportive care gives something to the patient, gives something to the healthcare system, uh, because patients will have uh, less toxicities and uh, a better uh, better outcomes of the anti-cancer treatment. So I hope you will join us uh, in Melbourne next year, 2026, uh, in the uh, end of June. And uh, thank you to be with us uh, on Oncology. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onca Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.